The Gospel according to St. Mark. The beginning of the Gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye for the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. John did baptize in the wilderness and preach the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins. And there went out unto him all the land of Judea and they of Jerusalem and were all baptized of him in the river of Jordan confessing their sins. And John was clothed with camel's hair and with the girdle of the skin about his loins and he did eat locusts and wild honey and preached, saying, There cometh one mightier than I. After me the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to stoop down and unloof. I indeed have baptized you with water, but he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost. And it comes to pass in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized of John in Jordan. And straightway coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens opened and the Spirit like a dove descending upon him. And there came a voice from heaven saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And immediately the Spirit driveth him into the wilderness. And he was there in the wilderness forty days tempted of Satan, and was with the wild beasts and the angels ministered unto him. Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. And saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. Now as he walked by the sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you to become fishers of men. And straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. And when he had gone a little further thence, he saw James, the son of Zebedee, and John, his brother, who also were in the ship mending their nets. And straightway he called them, and they, their father Zebedee, in the ship with the hired servants, and went after them. And they went into Capernaum, and straightway on the Sabbath day he entered into the synagogue and taught. And they were astonished at his doctrine, for he taught them as one that had authority and not as the scribes. And there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. He cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Hold thy peace, and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed, and so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with authority commanding he even the unclean spirits, and they do obey him? And immediately his name spread across throughout the region round Galilee. And forthwith, when they were come out of their synagogue, they entered into the house of Simon and Andrew with James and John. But Simon's wife, mother, lay sick of a fever, and anon they came to tell her. And he came and took her by the hand, lifted her up, and immediately that fever left her, and she ministered unto them. And at even when the sun did set, they brought upon him all that were deceived, and them that were possessed with devils. And the city was gathered together at the door, and he healed many that were sick of divers diseases. They freaking booted me again. Or they're trying to, these YouTube. Let this show go. Let us, let us do it, you know? Divers' diseases, and cast out many devils, and suffered not the devils to speak, because they knew him. 
And in the morning, rising up a great while before day, he went out, departed into a solitary place, and there prayed. And Simon, they that were with him, followed after him. And when they found him, they said unto him, All men seek for thee. And he said unto them, Let us go into the next towns. I may preach there also. Therefore came I forth. And he preached into the synagogues throughout all Galilee, and cast out devils. And there came a leper to him, beseeching him, kneeling down to him, and saying unto him, If thou wilt, can thou make me clean? And Jesus moved with compassion, put forth his hand, and touched him, and faith unto him, I will be thou clean. And as soon as he had spoken, immediately the leprosy departed from him, and he was cleansed. And he straightly charged him, and forthwith sent him away. And faith unto him, see that, see thou say nothing to any man, but go thy way. Shew thyself to the priest, and offer for thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. Guys, this is... Old English. They, there's F's instead of S's. Real-time reading here, okay? Uh, but he went out and began to publish it much and to blaze abroad the matter, insomuch that Jesus could no more openly enter the city, but was without in desert places. And they were come from every quarter. Guys, does anybody understand what, what this is? I, I don't. Is this how the real, the new Bible reads too? Because what is that? You know, let's just read how, what is this? And faith unto him, see thou say nothing to any man, but go thy way. Shew thyself to the priest and offer thy cleansing those things which Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. Any, anyone? Uh, but he went out and began to publish it much and to blaze abroad the matter insomuch that Jesus could no more enter the city but was without the desert places. Oh, so basically they went out there bragging about how awesome Jesus was. And so the, like the way like they did with Moses. Like that much press. The press was behind Jesus, the positive press. Chapter 2, and again he entered to Capernaum only the same days, and it was notified that he was in the house. Jesus is in the house, guys! Alex, this is the 1775 Bible, 1776 New Testament, and it is pretty cool. Table of time, of course, the 13-month theory that I came up with, which was absolutely not right. Um, but it still is cool that it says 13 in there. Uh, and outside of that, you know, uh, it's cool sometimes to read this, especially it's a Sunday. I picked Mark, but I realized when I was in here that HH2 thing that came out when I read this already once before. I think we should just quickly go somewhere else. I'm going to chapter 13 in Revelation. Let's just see what it says. Okay. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his head the name of blasphemy. Blasphemy. 